Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com back today with another cryptocurrency video. Uh, today I have an update about WePower and their uh, year-long partnership with Alleering and data tests. Uh, very exciting stuff. In fact, um, today marks uh, the results of their groundbreaking nationwide energy tokenization pilot with Estonia. So uh, they basically are announcing the successful delivery of a landmark nationwide energy tokenization uh, pilot project in partnership with uh, the Estonian transmission system operator Ilirin, and this paves the way for uh, the digital revolution of the energy sector. Now, uh, the project basically involves converting a year's worth of Estonia's national energy consumption and production data onto the Ethereum blockchain, and the results, uh, the results actually proved positive for both energy and blockchain industries. Now, as far as the amount of data that we're talking about, we're looking at 26,000 hours uh, and 24 terawatt hours of energy production and consumption data, which was turned into over 38 billion uh, smart energy tokens. So this is truly uh, a first that we're looking at here. And I just have to give credit to uh, WePower, my long-term partner, that that they've really always come through on, on what they planned out and what they promised. Um, they've been working very hard, always giving out updates in a timely manner. And this is something that we don't always see, especially in this blockchain industry. A lot of companies don't come through or end up disappearing at certain times and not giving updates. Uh, this is not the case for WePower. Like I said, they've been uh, truly on top of everything. So I did want to give them uh, some recognition for, for that because it's not something that we see all the time. And let's talk a little bit about uh, why did they run the experiment. And actually, just to, to you know further recap uh, what they worked on here, and I'll leave a link to this webpage uh, at the top of this video's description if you want to take a look at it. But basically, their, solu their solution and their goal is a revolutionary uh, energy tokenization technology. And they've proved that this is possible through the tokenized nationwide energy production and consumption data in Estonia. Now, um, they have a lot of technical information on this web page. Like I said, I will leave the link to it um, if you're interested in the um, description of this video. But uh, going back to the Medium post here, uh, they talk about why did they run this experiment. So basically, it's to foster the global transition to renewables uh, by providing a streamlined way for companies to transact directly with green energy developers. So what they mention is that currently the financial and legal instruments um, are too complex and too expensive things like power purchase agreements but what they are doing um, with their next generation green energy procurement and trading platform which uses virtual PPAs um, it's take it takes the process to a whole new level uh, and that's a process that usually takes years to complete right so it's much more simplified um, and offers the opportunity to you know uh, do these transactions and um, enables companies regardless of their size to become greener in a cost-effective uh, and fungible way now, the nationwide um, energy tokenization pilot in Estonia is what allowed them to test these uh, technological capabilities of Ethereum and of the blockchain to see if it's possible to build an infrastructure that's solid enough and uh, scalable um, on, on a large enough level to actually make this happen. And like I said, right, it was um, a successful test. So basically, um, to mention some of the, and, and I wanted to also um, talk about the fact that, you know, they, they get a lot of uh, press attention for their work. And if you're wondering why Estonia specifically in this Wired uh, post right here, they mentioned that, um, let's see, the company, you know, is testing in Estonia after striking uh, the deal with Alleering because uh, what's surprising is that Estonia actually has a uh, large amount of its energy uh, that comes from unsustainable uh, source. So basically, the bulk of uh, energy in the Baltic country is produced by fossil fuels, and uh, only 18% of it comes from renewables. So uh, that's why, you know, Estonia was such a great place for it. And, and of course, with the deal, uh, it makes a lot of sense. So I did want to mention that as well. But uh, going back to, to the, to the um, key goals of the test, uh, basically, you know, one of the biggest roadblocks with a blockchain solution uh, comes from the limitations of the scalability, right? So in order to succeed, they needed to design a testing environment that would be realistic but fully compliant with uh, 
privacy regulations, they also had to test asynchronous uh, integration layer between WePower's centralized platform and a public blockchain and test the processing cap uh, capacity needed to run uh, the, you know, large WePower trading platform at a national level, right? So those are some pretty big feats right there. So uh, what they, and of course, you know, they, gi they give the results to, uh, the data results to, uh, that I mentioned previously to the test, but basically uh, the conclusion was that Ethereum is actually mature enough to accommodate uh, contracts with multi-year terms and, uh, you know, there are some other promising alternatives uh, that are available. Uh, now, Ethereum um, performance indicators are sufficient for WePower to operate the renewable energy uh, procurement and trading platform at this stage. Uh, of course, Ethereum does have um, some of its some limitations, which I'll mention uh, later in this video. But um, these are things that uh, are hopefully will be able to uh, be solved and, and worked around to, you know, bring this at truly the, the max scale possible, right? And uh, they also have, you know, a technical report, uh, which I'll talk about briefly, an executive summary report as well. Uh, I'll leave a link to their Medium post in the uh, description of this video also. They also have a, a GitHub here that you can check out. Um, and, you know, if you're a developer, you can even look into joining. But uh, to talk about the technical report uh, and then some of the conclusions and takeaways. So first off, um, the, this first test phase is what allowed them to validate and verify the logic uh, of, of what they're working on. And of course, the, the Ethereum uh, platform, smart energy contracts, etc. Now, they did acknowledge that the scalability of Ethereum's uh, blockchain currently has limitations, but that the problem is being tackled by Ethereum developers with plans to implement uh, sharding and, you know, hopefully uh, allow for um, less of, uh, of these limitations to take place, right? And, and now allow for that large scale uh, autonomous uh, usage, right? So that's really kind of the end goal here. Now to talk about the next steps, uh, what we're looking at is for December 2018 uh, contract versioning, February 2019 wallet structure, uh, April 2018 log chaining, we have a dynamic test set for May 2019. Uh, June 2019 will be a technology test, so comparison with ETH baseline for the most optimal blockchain uh, supporting WePower's business model. September 2019 will be the settlement test, and in Q4 2019 we'll have further tests, right, like virtual power plant concept preparation and new drain technology tests. Um, they are also work on, you know, feature optimization, market dynamics, and security. Also, you know, the technology uh, of choice, which for now, like we said, WePower uh, has been sufficient with a couple limitations here and there. And um, moving over to um, the executive summary, we can see that in the future, um, their solution has to be able to be scaled to five-minute energy market settlement timeframes uh, and millions of users and terawatt hours of electricity so their R&D team is focused on the features that are required to further optimize WePower's platform for large-scale commodity trading purposes and uh, the roadmap is leading the way to concepts that support WePower in growing into a fully functioning virtual utility uh, which is their end goal here with that being said thank you for watching this video and thank you uh, to WePower for sponsoring this video uh, I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.